is going to be super exciting. We've been looking forward to this. Just train sounds, better get used to it. Good afternoon, we're now boarding the train from Moscow to Ekaterinburg. It's the beginning of our Trans-Siberian Railway journey. The journey will take us more than 7,600 kilometers all the way to Beijing. This is the first day, we'll be spending 26 hours on the train. And in case you can't tell, we're super excited. The train is already here, the people are already here. But for some weird reason, we are waiting to board the train because Russia, they take procedures and timings very seriously. So this is probably going to be one of the most exciting parts of our trip. Sleeping on the train, living on the train, it's going to be awesome. But I do judge the amount of food that he has bought. I mean, this is just... I might have bought food worth for three or four days, look at this. Oh, you think it's just the one bag? No, there's another one. There's two. I'm judging, but we're boarding, so let's go. Let's head into that train. This is our coupe. So we have made it into our cabin. Uh, there are two other people here, but this is our side of the cabin. So we have two lower berths, two upper berths. Then you get low one, I have the upper one. We have two pillows, we have two mattresses. We have everything we need. I think we're about to leave in a minute. I'm super excited because it's a little bit old school, but it looks nice. We managed to put our luggage underneath here. The one thing I'm not sure about is how I'm gonna get up there. Because I think there should be some sort of ladder, but I don't see it. Um, and I can't levitate yet, so we'll see. I think we have enough food for the day. Tend to make our bed in a very small space. We have our seating area and we put a mattress on top of it. Have some uh, freshly washed blankets. Not used to doing this. Somebody said help. <laughs> Kazan, um, which is one of the stops on the way of this train and our fellow passengers apparently got off because when we woke up they weren't here anymore so now we have um, a private cabin and that's the difference the main difference between first class and second class first class there are only two beds and four class uh, second class you share the, the cabin with two other people so we're going to have a nice day on the train hopefully just the two of us I slept pretty well. I woke up a couple of times, but it was okay. Uh, sometimes when the train stops and uh, starts again, it like really shudders like the world is ending. That woke me up a couple of times, but otherwise it, it was pretty good. Uh, a strange thing, I woke up at four o'clock this morning when the train was stopped. I put my head out of the window and it was a very big, big tank next, <laughs> next to the train.
All right, so now for the food. We bought some uh, supplies yesterday. We ate like a very small piece of it. Some. Some, but all the rest is still here. We're going to show you how much exactly I bought. Look at what you did. <laughs> all right, it looks like we may have bought a bit too much food. If it looks like we're in a disco right now on the screen, we are not. It's just because the sun is on that side, it's behind the trees. And every time a tree passes, it goes from light to dark, light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. It's pretty beautiful outside. I'm gonna get us some coffees. The one thing that is free on every train on the Trans-Siberian is hot water. So you can make yourself some coffee if you get a mug. You can make yourself tea, you can make yourself coffee, you can make pretty much everything that's instant, which is why we have so much of it. It was 64 rubles for two coffees. It's a pretty sweet deal because that's less than one dollar. And now we have the mugs and we can keep them for the rest of the journey so we can go back, get some more hot water, make ourselves some tea. I think she might have given me the cappuccino version. The language barrier here on this train is very, very real. They don't speak a word of English, not one word. And I don't speak much Russian, nor does Naik. I think the only words we know is hi, which is privyet, spasiba, which is thank you, um, da, that's yes. And then that's pretty much it. Dua is do, and toiletti is toilet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It tastes like sugar water with a little bit of coffee mixed in. <laughs> sugar rush incoming. <laughs> but I really like these mugs, they're pretty cool. They're like proper old school Russian. All right, it's lunchtime. I've got some mashed potatoes for Kim. And I'm gonna try the teriyaki noodles, which look really good. Time for some cooking! So this is the hot water you get on the pan. I would say texture-wise, it's looking a lot better than I expected. Then there's this little baggie, which has some sort of sauce, it claims. I'm very curious. Five hours later. Ooh. <laughs> Cereal spiller strikes again. Look, it has the right consistency for mashed potato. Yeah, give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. You, my friend, are missing out. That's good. I'm really, really enjoying the train ride so far. It's so relaxing. I prefer it over a plane because you have some space. Plenty of food. Yeah, plenty of food. Actual meat in there. Sauce is all on the bottom. Mm. Hidden treasure. Hidden treasure! All right, let's go in for the taste test. It isn't bad, it isn't bad. It's less good than we'd expect from this whole ordeal. The mashed potatoes are like really a little flavor bomb. This is like, it's good, but it's uh, not a flavor bomb. I'm sorry, what you doing? Hmm? Mashed potatoes? Those are my mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. This is the bomb. Yeah. Don't say bomb on the train. <laughs> After 22 hours spent on the train, we are now in Krasnufimsk. It's time for a stop. Time for a little stop. We're stopping here for 35 minutes. And it's great to get out of the train a bit and stretch our legs. Yes. So far, it's been a really good experience. Yeah. Uh, it was nice living on the train for just about 24 hours now. See these women right behind me, right here? They are the Provodnitsas which is basically like a carriage attendant, so same as a flight attendant, but for the carriage and the train. 
there are people who will check your passport when you come onto the train. They'll give you your bedding, your linens. Um, they will make sure that you don't make a mess out of the train. So basically, your Provodnica is like your train mother. So train mom alerted me to the fact that I had gotten onto the wrong carriage. I would like to point out for good order's sake that it was you who said that that was carriage number 11. I said, I think it's the next one. Anyway, I made it. Plan failed. Almost. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye little train. We will see you soon. Now, where to? No, <laughs> I tried to... I tried to look up where Ross was on the train, but the internet was very wonky, I would say. It's about the right word. It's 4.5 kilometers and there's no public transport. It's currently 11.40 p.m., so needless to say, we're not gonna walk that bit. <laughs> Taxi? Maybe there's an Uber? Yandex, yeah, I can try Yandex. Yandex is like the Russian version of Uber. It's only 130 rubles, so that's 1 euro 60, I think. So it's very cheap, so let's uh, go and find it again. <laughs> Did you even check if there's someone in the car? Yes. We haven't seen the driver yet. Yeah. Ever since we left home, almost a month ago now, we haven't spent more than one night in a private room. We spent all of our nights in, in dorm rooms because it was just so much cheaper. And now, we finally have a package. So that concludes our first trip on the trans Siberian. It was 26 hours. Highly enjoyed it. Actually looking forward already to the next one. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Which will be 56 hours, if I'm not mistaken, from Ekaterinburg to Irkutsk, all the way in Siberia. Uh, we're going to spend three days here in Ekaterinburg. That will be our next video. And then onwards to Irkutsk. I'll oh, definitely, if you like this video, um, give it a like and make sure to subscribe to follow the rest of the journey because I mean this was just a short train ride and it was second class but we have other ones coming up third class first class Yekaterinburg Siberia I mean yeah all the way to Mongolia and China oh, it's going to be interesting it's going to be awesome but first we're going to take a nap see you in the next one see you in the next one bye have a great day